Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 24 of the Disguy PC LP. I am Bunny Bison and today we are going to uh, be doing the rest of the uh, chapter. I, in the off time I have uh, have gotten Laharl's Weapon Mastery up to 10 using that invincible map where I could just uh, do counters and stuff. I have also upgraded my movement and counter abilities uh, with Laharl, so now his movement is 7 even without the uh, the boots and stuff on uh, because he was at six originally. Um, leveled them up some. Uh, got Lahara the Muramasa better sword. Uh, I have also leveled up Planair a bit. Um, yeah, so doing pretty good. Uh, I also did the first level of uh, Cave War Deal. I also unlocked Pretty Land, which uh, has its own tiny story, but I didn't think I needed to like show it uh, because you can just look it up one because this game was old and two it's just like oh yeah there's prunies here because they left uh, they left celestia and the netherworld and oh they're not weak <laughs> hey harley i am laharl not harley you really don't have plans to invade the earth earth is that rotten planet where humans foolishly pollute their own environment correct why would i be interested in that you may be right, but the Earth is still our home. That's why Gordon and I risk our lives to protect it. I always believed that was the right thing to do. I don't know what to believe in now. It doesn't seem like you're lying, Harley, but I don't want to think that my fellow Earthlings are lying to me either. What makes you think I'm not lying? I am a demon. I can tell by looking into your eyes. I believe you because your eyes are pure. I don't know if it's pure good or pure evil, though. <laughs> huh, nonsense. That man's eyes, are they pure right now? Well, either way, we have to find Gordon and uncover the truth, or else something terrible might happen. I agree. At this rate, a war might erupt between the Netherworld and the human world. We must prevent that. Huh? Why? It'd be fun. Etna! Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> What's with you serious types? Okay. So then... Uh, seems... pretty good. Oh, and then silence, but I wouldn't want to silence. Because uh, that would be... honestly, more negative for... So, uh, got Wing Slayer, and its thing is this, which is near perfect because on the map with the uh, three by three grid of uh, uh, cat ladies, uh, I go right up to the edge, which is super nice. I don't have to. Oh yeah, proximal trap. Um, this one just shoots me back a little bit. I haven't seen its. Uh, it's, nope, it's thing yet, so I'm going to, uh, turn on friendly effects. I think we've seen Here this I before come. with an enemy. Yeah, in the final battle of, uh, Etna mode. Yeah, it does just about the same as a regular damage. Regular damage. Regular attack. And these guys have about twice as much health as I do damage. So now... and throw you into the fray. Uh, no point keeping you there. And you're weak to fire, so I'm just gonna move the hell out of you with this. Okay, good. You're dead. And I'm gonna have Hemingway go up around this way and act as an assist with Ernest in the middle as a general uh, helper. Do some damage right there. Okay, we got quite a few. So they do quite a bit of damage. But I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, this countering is nice. Okay. Now, this is honestly a perfect spot for. Oh, 
would be if it wasn't absolutely cluttered. Um, I wonder. Can I jump up there? Probably not. I deal with them in a fast, efficient manner. God, I remember when we just started this and I was just whipping through that with like it was no one's business. Now I actually have to think about it a little bit. Oh, thinking. My brain. It trembles. Get that reference. You've watched a very nice anime. Pretty awesome. Yeah, 49. And she, he, and Planair has fallen back, due mostly to, uh, uh, just typing. Like, guns are just not as good as swords at dealing damage, and therefore gaining levels. Due to, one, their single, uh, target nature, and they lose uh, power because of range, which is a normal, a normal give and take um, in any game, really. Um, like if you had a bow that was dealing axe damage, then what's the point of using an axe? Uh, you just stay at safe distance, right? We finally see their sprites. Beep, beep, bleep, beep, life signs detected. Analyzing. It is Captain Gordon. Gordon's nearby? Gordon! Gordon! Where are you? <laughs> A familiar voice! Is that you, Jennifer? You must have been through hell. But have no fear, Captain Gordon is here! That's the hero? He's so cool! Flan, you got a wide strike zone. Gordon! Are you alright, Jennifer? Hmm? Who are these children? How dare you call me a child! I am the Overlord! You? The Overlord? <laughs> Quit joking around. You haven't even gone through puberty. Hey, no fair, a cowardly trick, Overlord. It's about time you came to your senses. I, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, shall put an end to your evil ambition of invading Earth. Wait! Shut up, villainous! Villainous? Laharo, this rude stranger isn't a hero, nor is he a defender of anything! Let's kick his sorry butt! Well, that didn't take long. We're in agreement this time, Flan. Listen, defender of Earth. If you can defeat me, I promise not to invade your planet. But if I win, then you agree to stay here in the Netherworld and become my vassal. How about it? 
fine. A hero never backs down from a fight. Gordon, listen. No need to worry, Jennifer. I eat guys like him for breakfast. Thursday and I can handle this by ourselves. All you have to do is believe in Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, like always. Deal then! Here I come, Defender of Earth! Come on, Overlord. I'll protect the Earth at any price. Thursday, back me up! Me, me, blip, me, mission acknowledged. This is one of the few times where you see that, uh, Laharl isn't dumb. Because, <laughs> uh,. Like, look how different his portrait is compared to everyone else's. Like, oh, l look at that, like, really official looking, like, not anime manga, and then you get the uh, Like, even their, just their faces. Like, even, even Thursday looks more anime. <laughs> and I like that. I like that difference in, uh, well, it's only a slight difference at that as well. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is one of the few instances where you can see that Laharl's not exactly the dumbest, because he has nothing at risk here, because he wasn't planning on invading the Earth in the first place. Uh, okay, so Thursday has no resistances, but that's not good or bad. Um, okay, let's see if I can hit. Yeah, I can. Awesome. Okay, uh, and air. It's just easier to get rid of one person and then the other, rather than trying to uh, take care of both of them at the same time. Hurricane Slash is still one of the best moves. Um, the Hog Miser over here. And the over here. Uh, okay. Battle is one fourth over essentially. Yeah. Ooh. Forgot that he had a move like that. But he used like all his SP. So guess it doesn't really matter that I forgot he had a move like that. Mega Ice. level, but got more XP than she would have otherwise. Okay, and now he doesn't have any until uh, strengths or weaknesses. So I might as well just go at a whole hop. And I guess I'll hit you with that. Because I'm, I'm not sure if in this game uh, it really, they, because in later games they tell you, like, how much your percentage changes based on back, front, and side attacks. Um, I'm not sure how much this game is affected by that type of thing. Because there are misses and whatnot, and I do think that you do more damage if you hit from the back, but that might just be coincidence. Interesting thing about Thursday is he uses a monster. <laughs> How do you like that, hero? Taste the power of the Overlord! You've learned an important lesson today. Heroes don't always win! <laughs> oh no! What have I done? I have injured a human! I inadvertently. 
inadvertently my butt. Flan, lately you've been acting more and more like us demons, huh? N no, I haven't. But if the Seraph finds out... Seraph! Seraph Lamington, are you here? This is a serious matter. It is always a serious matter when you come here. What is it this time? Flan has killed a human in the netherworld. No, she hasn't. What? Flan killed a human? No, it punched one a little bit. That's right. Even if she is a trainee, an angel harming a human is a grave sin. Yeah, it just... Punch is man. this forgivable? No, such a sin cannot be forgiven. But still, that is odd. Why would a human be in the netherworld? <laughs> well, well, well uh, at any rate, I will make sure that Flan is captured. I'll be using some of the troops. I have your permission, correct? Very well. I shall leave it to you, Volcanus. The Seraph just seems to trust this fuckhead, and look how evil he is. Like, you can see the evil in his face. Yes, sir! Hmm. I never expected humans to interfere. Now then, how will he respond to this? Everything will be fine. The Seraph will understand that it was just a mistake. He surely will. You better hope so. Captain Gordon and Jennifer and Thursday are now under your command. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's your boy. Now that we have the Defender of Earth on our side, our space adventure. Hi, everyone. This is your hero, Captain Gordon. It won't be easy for Gordon. As all of you know, I am the 37th Defender of Earth. As the name suggests, it is my duty to defend the Earth. What lies ahead of- No matter what lies ahead, I swear on my honor and the name Defender of Earth that evildoers shall not escape. That is my mission. Next! Next on Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, Episode 10, Angels, Demons, and Humans. Look forward to my adventures! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha, my ass! So, I find it uh, interesting how they say ass sometimes, but they also say butt other times. Like, I really wish Flan said, like, let's kick his ass. <laughs> like, screw this fuckhead. Um. Gordon! Wash my shorts! Gordon! After that, clean my room! Gordon! After that, make dinner! <sighs> what humiliation! The Defender of Earth working for the Overlord! I can't apologize enough to my predecessors! Hmm... You look unhappy! Don't tell me that a hero would break his promise now. No. A hero never breaks a promise. All I can do right now is endure this. As long as my faith does not falter, hope remains. I've got it. I'll just pretend to obey him. And when he lets his guard down, I'll escape back to Earth. All right. I just need to have patience. Good thinking, Gordon. Your eyes are full of hope. You're planning something, aren't you? Uh, no, I'm not. I was just... Morning, Harley. I told you not to call me that! Why not? It's cuter that way. Etna and Flan are going to show me around the netherworld, and we're going to have a picnic. Why don't you come along, Harley? We made a great lunch. Picnic? You must be joking, Jennifer. I, the Defender of Earth, am working, and you, my assistant, are picnicking? That's a good amount of commas. I like it. But Gordon, today's Sunday. It's a day off for everybody. Why? There's no, like, church shouldn't exist on Sunday in this world. Well, that's true, but... Thursday, you'll stay here and work with me, right? Robots require rest, too. 
Thursday will attend picnic with Jennifer. La la la. Hey, you traitor! There you have it, Gordon. We'll leave the chores to you. So, where should we go? It's her first time in the Netherworld. So how about the Sea of Gehenna? Why? It's so hot over there. What kind of a place is it? It's a big tourist spot. Since you're new to the Netherworld, you have to go check it out. Is there a souvenir shop around? Um, it's not exactly the kind of place that sells souvenirs. Well, if it's souvenirs you're looking for, try Sphinxes on Sacrifice Street. They've got nice mummy heads. See? Oh, how adorable! Hey, that's the Nether Year 666 Limited Edition model! I want one! <laughs> Too bad! Okay, today it's a picnic at the Sea of Gehenna, and tomorrow it's shopping on Sacrifice Street. Sounds like a plan! I'm in! Now I just plain pity you, Gordon. All right, we're going to the Sea of Gehenna. I will never, ever allow those women to go picnicking on their own. That's a great idea. We should do it. It's not like we'd be going on a picnic going la la la. Someone has to protect them. Right, let's go. <laughs> Here's my chance. I'll sneak off and escape during the picnic. Episode 10. Angels, demons, and humans. So I will say good thinking on Gordon's part, because Lyle completely forgot that Gordon is supposed to be there doing chores. Okay. Going through. So now we have uh, Gordon, Jennifer, and Thursday on our team. And Gordon is the intended gun axe user of the party. Uh, she, Jennifer is supposed to be punchy the gun. And then you have Thursday using monster stuff. Um, I don't really plan on using them all that much, because compared to the rest of my party, they're kind of underleveled. Uh, I don't really think I need them because I have I have it all covered. Because Gordon is kind of replaced by Planair. Uh, Jennifer, I don't really need a fist user and stuff. Like it's. Honestly, it's rather uh, pointless for me to even think about using them. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not too keen on using those guys. Um, okay. So let's go. See, so Hannah Prince, they're quite childish. No, I'm not. I'm going to investigate the area. <laughs> la la la. Are going on a picnic. <laughs> Tra la la la. I am. See, I. Okay, so Sea Gehenna must have been in the. Uh, yeah, that was in Etna mode. I was trying to think, like, why, have we already been there? It's past a scheduled time and still no word from Gordon, apparently. Even the Defender of Earth was no match for the Overlord. He's not the real Defender of Earth. If you had just left it to me, I would have been done ages ago. Are you still carrying on about that? You need to be more insightful, Curtis. It doesn't really matter to me whether he wins or loses. His mission ended as soon as he opened up a route to the Netherworld. Slaying the Overlord was just a pretext. Hm, they're nothing but pawns to you, huh? What an ugly way of saying it, Curtis. I prefer to call them the heroes who sacrificed their lives for the Earth. <laughs> Everyone is such dicks, except for the demon. <laughs> Gordon wouldn't die so easily. Only I, Curtis, can defeat him. I bet he beat the Overlord already and is enjoying a picnic right now, going la la la. He's doing that second La part. la la. Ha 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 ha. I never thought that picnicking in the netherworld would be so delightful. Is this guy really a hero? I'm not really one to say, but... I always thought a hero was a bit more dignified. This guy's just a fool. No, a true hero hides his real identity from the world, pretending to be quiet or weak. Then, when someone needs to be saved, he appears admirably to uphold justice. That's right, isn't it? Well, I... I guess. La la la! 
You sure? He looks like he doesn't have a care in the world. La la la! All right, they're falling for my plan. Now, all I have to do is just play along until I can make a run for it. But didn't your ship crash land? So, isn't it broken? Your continuing existence hinges on an incredibly unstable balance. Do you understand? I'm aware of that. And please take very care of yourself. I would like to, but I cannot leave them on their own. The power's not limitless. You know, don't forget that. Yeah, no okay. So what's going on here? No lifting invincibility. Ah, uh, you're a bitch. Okay. So that means I have to essentially like kite them to these very specific spots because I can't lift them, which stinks. And um, guess I'll end turn there. Where you guys weak to? You guys are weak to. Well, one of you was weak to fire. Okay. Just because you're invincible does not mean that. Uh, okay, there. Let's do that. There. Okay. Good. Honestly, it's a rather safe bet. Because now they're closed in, so they have to exit the other side. Um. Okay. It's quite nice. Because it means I can just leave anyone out and essentially prep them. Uh. I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over there. And drop him over here. And turn. Hope they get aggro across. Just circling it, my wizard who can't leave. Okay. Yeah, let's go over there. Well, no, let's go over here. And train. Okay. Now they will go on there. That is peach clean. Put flan so they can't back off. Sun shy. I just tried to put them in a place where he wouldn't uh, be aggroed and kept on the blue. Not too bad. Honestly, it's one of the easier maps just because of the fact that you're invincible. You just have all the time you need. Uh, okay, so with that, uh, I'm going to end this episode here so that uh, it doesn't go on for too long next episode we will continue the chapter probably finish it maybe not i don't know these maps are taking a little bit longer now because we're starting to get about at level uh so uh with that hope you all have a very nice day and we'll join you again in the next episode